I like shout outs to all you guys for the support. All I have to say is fake beat grappler twice in discard mirror matchups. Oh. <laughs> That's right. We won the gauntlet. We got a prime glory. For anybody who doesn't understand uh, the whole pr prime glory and the gauntlet setup, just to clarify, basically there's a last chance gauntlet at the end of the season where you have to get seven wins to achieve the last chance spot, make it to the tournament. Uh, for every gauntlet you, uh, you play in prior to that, you will receive a prime glory for every time you get seven wins. Only for the first try each week, we managed to get the seven wins. We got the prime glory. And so towards the last chance gauntlet at the end of the season, you'll actually get a free buy or a free win towards that run. So that's absolutely fantastic. Today, I'm just going to give you a bit of a highlight. I'm going to throw some stuff together, talk about my thoughts, what we did and how we won it. So basically, I decided to bring Swain TF, discard aggro, and then the last deck was just like, ah, I'll just throw something in there. So I grabbed uh, Leona and Lux, actually, which ended up being kind of a detriment to like my performance. Uh, every loss we got was with uh, Lux and Leona, pretty much, which uh, in the end was okay because we managed to like come back and play the other decks anyway but basically you lose two games you're out we did actually get a fair bit of losses but because we didn't lose two in a row we were fine to keep proceeding it was a real fun time really good experience and the whole we have like a pick and ban thing which is really cool as well most of the time my swain tf was getting banned so i'd be playing discard aggro a lot of times and at one point i'd face grappler two times in a row uh, towards the middle of the run and uh, we managed to beat him twice in discard aggro mirrors so that was absolutely fantastic but yeah overall the experience was great we played pretty well we got lucky there was a moment in like i think it was like game five we we're playing discard aggro at this point i was teching uh the university of piltover and one of the most ridiculous things happened like i'd play university of piltover and then coming back into our turn <laughs> We got an atrocity, so that was just really ridiculous, and we won the game strictly off randomness. Uh, the game may have dragged out for a bit longer, but that pretty much just ended the game on the spot, so that was a really amazing highlight, and yeah. Besides that, throughout my journey, I noticed that in the very last game we had, we did verse a person who had brought an interesting lineup, like he had Fiora Shen, and then he had another mainstream deck, I've forgotten what it was now, but he also had a... He also had a Tarek and a Lulu deck, which was kind of like really interesting. But um, we managed to kind of cheese the last win, which made me think that maybe uh, what's happening here is that I don't think it, I don't think you're gonna face people every time who has the same amount of wins or losses as you. I think it's kind of random in terms of like the overall performance and who you get paired up with. I did I did face Grappler twice, who was at that point I was in my one loss i'm out and he was in a fine streak and then we faced and then i got my win to get back into it he goes down to a loss part and then i reversed him again so i think it roughly tries to match you up with people but sometimes it might just be random but yeah towards the end of the day uh we got a pretty easy win the, the most of the journey was pretty hard though i remember facing a trundle a soul deck uh, on like the second or third game where I decided to bring my Swain TF and it was like he didn't ban the Swain TF which made me think that he was pretty happy to do certain matchups against it and this was just a steamroll like it was a really intense game uh, dragged out for a bit but by the end of it I just couldn't deal with all the Aurelian Souls coming down like he was playing War Mothers with Aurelian Soul it was really cooked but worked out really fantastic for him the type of deck that would work very well when there's picking bans involved just to clarify too so when this is like it's a best of one so you both ban one deck and you both pick one deck and it's best of one. So yeah, there's certain decks that you can bring that can really help you in this kind of format. And like, for example, I think Discard Aggro was the highlight of this entire uh, journey. It's ability for us to like just pretty much ban Shadow Isles and then just play it. Like Discard Aggro doesn't really have a bad matchup after that. So for the remainder of the video, I'd love to share with you guys the last three matches I had. A couple of them were super competitive and very intense, including a Swain TF Mirror that showcases the power of passing like you've never seen before that mirror matchup is ridiculous to see us passing up until around about turn eight just to see the game end in an instant after that is ridiculous we then faced off against uh uh tom soraka which i decided not to ban my discard i was left up so we had that matchup which is really interesting and then of course we had the last game which was a bit of a, a little bit of a cheese 
Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. I think you're really going to get a kick out of the Swain TF mirror. If you just want to watch that game specifically, uh, timestamps are there. But you're, it's, it's the next game coming up, guys. But yeah, thanks so much for the support. Hope you enjoy this style of video. And uh, yeah, I have some more deck guides for you soon. I'm working on a few videos at the moment. But yeah, bear with me. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe and come follow on Twitch. With my, like, 4-5 Radiant Guardian. I don't really want to, like, I'd rather just lose the game. Leave the 4-4 open. It's true, like, maybe I survive, but I don't think I can afford, I can't afford to, like, my hand sucks. I can't afford to try and drag out the game. I need to take a risk. I'm going to ban the, this one. If he doesn't ban Swain TF, I'm just playing that straight up. Looks like we're doing a Swain TF mirror. It's like, I could, I could survive, but then my board state just sucks. My board, like it's like, unless I top deck, I don't know, like I don't think it's a top deck that saves me, honestly. Wait, why is mine just pre-ordered? Oh, dude, I forgot to put a member into my deck. I think we always open attack here. Actually, is that even worth it? I don't think so. I'm thinking about deckhand. Does the gauntlet reward for Prime Glory reset every Monday? Yeah, it's the it's the first Prime Glory of the week. I'm pretty much forced into calling strike here. Why do you swing at me? Do you not have twist of fate? I think this was a mistake. My opponent made a mistake here. Like, if he doesn't swing there, and like he has Twist of Fate in hand, he just ruins my board and keeps his board in, like incredibly strong. Unfortunately, I don't have an answer to his one, uh, Swain. Oh, these mirror matchups are so weird. I have to end the round here. It's like, who's gonna make the first response? I found myself in a similar matchup yesterday, in a mirror matchup, and it was like so weird. We just kept passing. And it's like the person who plays cards first tends to get punished. This is so disgusting. I I, I don't like. Oh man, <laughs> this is shocking gameplay, dude. Uh, okay. So what I can do is I need to think about at what point I should consider going in to punish him passing so much. Like, he might not have Levy in hand. If he's passing like this, he probably has Levy in hand, right? I'm just gonna pass. Now, watch this. I was in the exact same situation the other day, and then what happened was, I played Leviathan first. Bro, 
I played Leviathan first and I fucking lost the game. Because if I play Leviathan right now, I'm probably going to lose the game. So I actually have to pass here. Because I, ha I if he plays Leviathan, I get to clear his Leviathan. Dude, can you imagine like watching like an official tournament, like a Legends of Runeterra tournament, and this is like what the viewer sees? Can you imagine that? Bro, like... Yeah, it's like, it's literally who plays their Leviathan first. It really sucks. It really sucks. Okay, so now I'm, I, I have the advantage here. I can make lots of fantastic plays, right? Yeah, I think the TF clear is better. I can play legit TF, Swain, and Scorched Earth, and that's fucking insane. Clear Spider into Rex. No, I think it's a... I think we go kind of aggressive here. I think you... This is your chance to go super nutty aggressive, right? I don't know if he's running calling strike. I'm the only person running calling strike right now. And now I get to open attack and it's fucking insane. Oh my god. Not everyone's running calling. This game's just over, man. I'm just straight up gonna play Rex here. Holy shit. That was... This is a fucking... This is a game to review. Oh my god. <sighs> Bruh. <laughs> oh my god. You're better off just not playing anything. You're better off just not playing anything. This is what it takes. That's the perfect example of the past meta. That's like, that is so insane to review. Like to look at that and how it plays out is so fucking crazy. That was like insane. Like he might not be, he might not be playing Scorched Earth or Calling Strikes either. It's, it's literally the only way to play the matchup, isn't it? I think there there might be some other lines where depending on what your hand looks like, you can play more aggressive. But if you've both got a pretty bricked hand, then yeah, you've just got to work with what you've got. I think I'm going to ban Swain Twist of Fate this time. Nah, I don't like, like I'm not too experienced with Tom Kench to be fair. I know Swain TF eats, eats my deck. I just don't want to do the mirror matchup again. Yeah, I don't want to do the Whoa. Bro, I think I just win with this card now. Play a Swain and bait, then he will definitely play Levy next turn. I mean, what's the what's the matchup here? Oh, you mean like some some lines, yeah. But even then, I think the only way to play that matchup more aggressively is to just have the perfect curve, right? Pretty sure Tom Kench and Soraka destroys aggro. Not this list. Not when you're playing Poro Cannon. This is a full mulligan, by the way. Believe it or not, I think Poro Cannon is the way for this. We're both in the same player, aren't we? So what I can hope for here is like maybe a Star Spring. So I can punish this pretty well. Uh, let's draw some cards here. I can't punish it a tremendous amount. 
Unless I find like rummage here or something. Oh uh, yeah, that's pretty reasonable. Like he gets to play Soraka and gets the healing, but I get to push a fair bit of damage. Like, there's no way he blocks this, right? He has to tank the whole attack. Bro, there's no way, man. Alright. Yeah, we didn't find Poro Cannon. That's a little bit rough. If he has Tom Kenshi, I'm pretty fucked. I can deal with this. I can deal with this. Plus three goes up to four. Yeah, this is fine. This card is disgusting if piloted correctly, my man. It's a tough deck to pilot. There's like some pretty interesting lines you can take. Choosing not to play anything there, setting up chump blockers. Well, you won't be my friend. I'll come over there right now, binge you over, and suck a fart out your butthole. Yeah, I Tush. Thanks for following, man. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Yeah, this is the line, right? We're just gonna swing. We're just gonna swing our ass at him. Suck a fart out, dude. My man. We out here. We out here. Suck. Yeah, legit, legit, just swing your ass at him. Just like, swing like an absolute mad lad. Let him take whatever blocks he wants. So, like, bro, he's down to one, man. Like, they don't have fantastic healing for their face. They don't have fantastic healing for their face. They have guiding touch, yeah? All right, this is fine. Do you know why this is fine? To heal and because uh, if he has Guiding Touch, that's a bit fucking cooked. I can put him in a position where he can't play a few cards. This is the line. On the verge of something. By the way, crowd favorites a play effect. So if he decides to like heal this up and somehow figure out a way to clear this, like if he, he can't like play the acquired taste this turn pretty much because of this line. He can do this. He can acquire taste something else that doesn't work really. I, I guess he could buff this up, right? Yeah. Actually, I don't, I don't know if I should have done it like this, but it's okay. It's okay. He can't swing with Tom Kench here, right? I just like ignore his attack completely. I'm convinced I take the open attack next turn. We'll see. Yeah, like it's it's just gonna be open attack. Just hope for the best. Like, he's got four units on field. I'm wired as fuck. I'm wired, dude. Like, what's to play here, man? Astral plus Guiding Touch. Doesn't even save him, man. He's, I'm still pushing three. No, even Hush saves him, man. Okay, Guiding Touch. Guiding Touch. Yeah, yeah, alright. Alright, I see. I hear you. Fuck.
Dude, I, I was convinced I had it. I should have I should have developed this turn. My developments aren't fantastic though. Time is gone though. Yeah, but he's um he's healing up though. He's healing up. Alright, watch the university win us the game, dude. Should I play something here? I think it's fine to play something, right? Fuck it. I'll keep my mana banked up. It already looks like a pretty bad spot. Bro! What? <laughs> what? Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> I have to be careful here. I have to navigate this appropriately. Bruh, what the fuck, man? Ah. Uh. Shit. I think I'm supposed to atrocity the Joel Hunters, guys. What forms of healing do they have for their face outside of, um... I, I, I lose the Hush. I can either lose the Hush plus, um... Guiding Touch. If I, okay, so if I atrocity the crowd favorite, I lose the hush and guiding touch. If I atrocity the Joel Hunters, I lose the double guiding touch. And if he double guiding touches, he can't protect Soraka. He's used two guiding touches, has he? I thought he only played one. Oh bro, he's played all his guiding touches. I only lose to Hush then. Yeah, no shit. Bro! <laughs> Get half stoned, am I right? Get half stoned, holy shit. That is like the most worst feeling. I actually feel so bad for my opponent. Oh, dude. Dude. Cause I guess we're going to have to clip that and send that to your boys over at the uh, Rune Terror fucking uh, moments. Bro, what the fuck, man? Can you imagine that's how you lose the game? Oh, dude. The final battle. You only get one chance to get your seventh win, guys. Dude, I feel so bad. One chance, guys. One chance. Final boss. <laughs> and of course, he's bringing some sauce. <laughs> Alright, guys. What are we thinking? Alright. Shen Fiora's up. I'm playing Discard Aggro. Woo! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Failed to pick a deck to play? I mean, I like my odds against both these decks. Alright, so he does go... He doesn't pick Shen Fiora in case I pick this card. So maybe... Maybe his Lulu Tarek decks teched pretty well. Ah, uh, pretty easy mulligan. Here comes your nerves. What about my nerves, dude? Haven't seen Sedge GP in a minute. Yeah, maybe it's good with picking bands. <laughs> Arcanus always gets nervous for me. He just wants to see me succeed. Alright, two damage in. Dude, I'm nervous for you. Thanks, guys. We just gotta make no misplays here. Young witch. Ready. 
you win this? Yeah, we'll see. Bro. Oh, Paul Gam Bam, thank you. You got this. Yeah, let's get it. Yeah, even though if I lose this, like, top in the region is still an option. That's still very much an option, right? Time for the main event. Am I right? Yes, Mortimer, you are right. But it'd be nice to have, like, a couple of ways of, uh, you know, getting this prime glory would be absolutely fantastic. Alright. We just swing with everything, right? This is kind of strange, right? Am I supposed to buff up the Battlecaster? He might be on Ranger's Resolve. I think I'm supposed to do this, right? It's gotta be correct. I need to get him to use the Ranger's Resolve now. He doesn't even have it. Interesting block. Oh, dude, he's not in Demacia. No shit, Lord Hawk. Lord, Lord NAWAC. He's not in Demacia. Of course. What am I talking about? Yeah, we'll take this block. I can legit, I can legit flip Jinx. Time for the money makers. He's gonna try and go elusive with this, so that's the scary thing. Yeah, I need to maintain my elusive units. He's either going to do Overwhelm. Okay. I can get the rocket this turn too. it man we're about to get our prime glory guys just straight up straight up this is it like this is no way Oh, the gem too, just to make sure. Let's ah! Oh! Oh! <laughs> we blew them all up. Prime glory. Prime. Fantastic. I like shout outs to all you guys for the support. Ah, boom, let me print screen that. That was bullying. I suspect maybe I wasn't I wasn't facing somebody who was also on his final play. Does that make sense? Like I don't think he was actually on his last game. 